Good morning, Extreme River Fishers. Welcome to Max Extreme River Fishing and Outdoors. Today, we're going to do a review on my Sin 12T kayak. I actually bought this for my son and my wife to use. Um, anyway, let's get busy, and I'm going to show you all the features of this kayak. Okay, guys, here we go. Starting up front, you got a nice handle up here. You got one in the back as well. You've got a nice area up here for tackle, coolers whatever you want to put you probably can put a little small dog up here um, I've never taken Pete out in this but it would probably handle a small dog up here but anyway you got a dry hatch put tackle put your dry bag in there stuff a extra pair of clothes down in there you've got nice foot pegs easy to move they lock in good then right here you got nice track mounts so you can put your Scotty or Yak Attack or Ram mounts on here. Then, you got a nice cup holder. You've got a nice dry hatch. I'll show you this. Got a nice dry hatch, it's pretty deep. Right now I got my scupper plugs in it. That way I don't lose them. And you got, I think, six scupper holes in this thing. It's pointy, but I don't never hardly ever use the scupper plugs. But anyway, now we get to the seat. It's a really nice seat. If you'll notice, it's got three grooves right here. You can adjust it to whichever one of these grooves to balance your weight um, for your height. We've already showed you the foot pegs. Uh, but anyway, it's a really nice seat. We've got a paddle holder right here. Now this boat actually tracks well. It's 12 foot long, it's pretty wide. I don't know the width on it, I'll measure it and post it in a caption. Um, but you stand up in this boat well. All right, this is my son. We're fishing on the local river. I got a good video coming out on this in a week or two. Being when you see he has no problem standing up and casting. There's actually no problem actually standing up and paddling too, like a stand-up paddle board. He's probably 6'1", maybe pushing 6'2". Um, as you see, it's real easy to stand up. It's a very stable boat. Now getting back to here, you've got uh, built-in rod holders with little tie downs right here. I like those. Now right here, this is my crate for this one. Uh, but you got plenty of room right here for a crate. I mean, I can put some more tackle, a bag right here. Now you got a big area right here. You can put more tackle, more cooler here. Um, it actually has a lot of room in this kayak. Now right here you got a drain plug, it's easy to get to. You gotta have that. Somehow these things always get water in them. Got another carrying handle like that. This boat does well, it tracks well. Um, the only thing I wish this boat had that it doesn't have is I wish it had a track mount right here and on the other side. But those are cheap to add. A couple of bucks off of Amazon couple of stainless steel screws in there um, cause that's where I put my would put my transducer arm for my um, depth finder but anyway this boat like I said tracks well you can stand up in it it's very stable um, it's not that heavy I mean kayaks a 12 foot kayak is always going way more than a 12 foot canoe cause you know the double hole uh, but anyway it's a great boat for the money um, that's my recommendation. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that quick little review on the CN12T. Do me a favor. Follow me on Instagram. I'll post a link in the description. And as always, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you on my next adventure. Thanks for watching.